right, today's lesson is 9.2, which can be found on page 361 of your uh, textbook. Our essential question for today is, how can you translate between equations and tables? So we're finding the relationship between equations and tables today for our lesson. Let's take a quick look at this over on the side. Um, when we have two variables and we input a value for the x, so if we take this 2 and we input that 2 for x, then we can solve for y, which is our output. So this is our x, this is our y. So when we put 2 in for x, then we have y equals 2 plus 3. Well, now we can figure out what y is. It's 5, right? 2 plus 3 is 5. There's our output. Let's do that again. We take our input, uh, which is our x value, put it in for x, substitute it in for x. y equals 4 plus 3, so our output then is 7. y equals 7. When an equation describes the relationship between two quantities, the variable x often represents the independent variable, and y often represents the dependent variable. A value of the independent variable is called the input value, and a value of the de dependent variable is called the output va value. All right, let's go ahead and work on our first example. A skating rink charges $3 for each hour of skating plus $1.75 to rent skates. This $1.75 is a one-time fee. It's not going to change. But this changes depending on how long we skate. Write an equation for the relationship that gives the total cost, y, in dollars for skating x hours. We don't know yet how long we're going to skate. We might get tired or injured after just one hour. Or we might skate three hours. We don't know yet. Then make a table that shows the cost of skating for one, two, three, and four hours. So first we're going to have to write an equation for the relationship and use the equation to make a table. So the total cost, our total uh, cost we don't know yet. It depends on how much time we spend. So that's y, our dependent variable. Dependent uh, the total cost is dependent on the time in hours, so our independent variable is the time in hours. Is or equals three dollars for every hour we're there. For each hour, we don't know how long yet, so we're going to put an x there because we don't know how long we're going to be skating. Uh, for each implies multiplying. And our dollar seventy-five shoe rental, skate rental, pardon me, is a fixed cost. It doesn't change. So the equation for the relationship is y, I took that from over here, y equals three times x. And we write that as three x. If, if a variable is next to the coefficient, that means it's multiplied plus $1.75 for our skate rental. So this is our equation. Y equals 3x plus 1 and 75 hundredths. So now we're going to make a table. We're, we took this equation, put it down here. We call that a rule in the table. Our input value is 1. We take that 1, put it in for x right there for the 3x, 3 times 1, plus $1.75. 3 times 1 is 3, 
plus 175 is $4.75. That would be our total cost if we skated for one hour. All right, let's take this two and put it in for X. So we have three times, X is now two, two plus $1.75. Three times two is six. Remember, according to order of operations, you do multiplication before addition. Six plus 175 gives me $7.75 total. That would be my total cost for two hours of skating. For three hours of skating, what's that going to cost? Three times, we're gonna put three in for X now. We brought down that three. This one's going in for X plus $1.75. So that would be nine plus 1.75, which gives us a total of 10.75 or $10.75. Finally, for four hours of skating, three times, put the four in for X, four plus 1.75 gives us 12 plus 1.75, which is a grand total of 13.75. So if we skate for four hours, it's gonna cost us $13.75. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Jamal downloads songs on his MP3 player. The table shows how the time it takes him to download a song depends on the song's file size. Write an equation for the relationship shown in the table, then use the equation to find how many seconds it takes Jamal to download a song with a file size of seven megabytes. So if it was four megabytes, it would take 48 minutes or seconds, pardon me, seconds. If it's uh, five megabytes, it takes 60 seconds, six megabytes, 72 seconds, and so on. Um, so if we make a table, we're gonna look for a pattern between the file size and the download time. So four, What's the relationship between four and 48? And then that same relationship has to apply to this five and 60 also, the six and 72 and the eight and 96. And what we realize is that we're multiplying by 12. Four times 12 gives us 48. Five times 12 gives us 60. Six times 12 gives us 72. Eight times 12 gives us 96. So 12 times 4 is 48. That's where the 4 came from. 12 times 5 gives us 60. 12 times 6 gives us 72. 12 times 8 gives us 96. All right, the download time. We don't know that yet. That will be, that's our dependent variable. So that's y when we're writing our equation. Y is 12 multiplied by the file size. We don't know the file size yet either, so we're going to give that a variable of x. So now we're gonna write the equation. So the equation for the relationship is y, I brought that from here, is 12 times x. There's our equation. Use the equation to find the download time for a file size of seven megabytes. See, we don't know that yet. In our table, that's still a question mark up here. All right, replace X with seven. So we're gonna put a seven in for this X right here, 12 times seven. So now we're gonna solve for Y. Y equals 12 times seven, which is 84. So it takes Jamal 84 seconds to download a seven megabyte song. All right, let's move on to our next table over here. We're on page 363. 
y equals x plus 3 is our rule or equation. These are our input values. These are our output values. So basically, we're just going to take these numbers, put them in for x, and get our y value. So 6, when we substitute that in for x, 6 plus 3 gives us an output of 9. When we substitute the value 8 in for x, 8 plus 3 equals 11. When we substitute the value 10 in for x, we have 10 plus 3. 10 plus 3 equals 13. Those are our output values, or our y values. OK, let's try that again over here. With this equation, we have y equals 2x plus 1, or 2 times x plus 1. When we substitute 4 in for x, let's go ahead and do some margin work so that Mrs. Allen and Ms. Chang and Ms. Noor know exactly what's going on in your head. All right, y equals 2 times 4 plus 1. Now, according to the order of operations, we do multiplication before addition. So y equals 8 plus 1. So our output value, or our y, when x equals 4 is 9. OK, let's do that again. y equals 2 times, we're going to put in the value 7 for the x now. 2 times 7 plus 1 more. 2 times 7 is 14. So y equals 14 plus 1. So y equals, in this case, when x equals 7, y equals 15. All right, down here we have y equals 2 times 10 plus 1, because we're substituting the 10 in for our x value. 2 times 10 is 20 plus 1. y equals 21. All right. Now down here, we look for the relationship between x and y. Here we have 8 and 16. So it could be plus 8, or it could be times 2. We don't know yet. We're going to look at this one. 9 and 18. So times 2 works for this one also. 9 times 2 gives us 18. And back here we thought it could be either times 2 or plus 8. Let's look at this one. 9 plus 8 does not give us 18. That would be 17. So we know it's times 2. Let's try it down here and make sure that we're correct. 11 times 2 equals 22. So we know we're right. So if we're going to write our equation, we know we're working with times 2. All right, so 8 times 2 gives me 16. 9 times 2 gives me 18, and so on. So what is our value here? Well, 10 times 2 will give me 20. So 20 is the missing value here. Let's write out the equation y equals. We always start with y equals y equals x times 2, but we write that as 2x. So y equals 2x is our equation. I'll let you try this one on your own. OK, let's take a look at our notes real quickly here. All right, so the in input is our independent variable, or the x, in our table. The rule is the equation, so this is the rule. It's an equation. The output is the dependent variable, or the y value. So in this case, when we take 2 and substitute it in for the x, 2 times 2 plus 2 more gives us 6, because 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 more is 6. When we substitute in 3 for x, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 more gives us 8. When we substitute 4 in for uh, x, 2 times 4 gives us 8, plus 2 more is 10. 
When we substitute 5 in for x, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 2 more is 12. To write an equation, we look at the relationship between x and y. In this table, y is 3 more than x. 6 plus 3 gives us 9. 8 plus 3 gives us 11. 10 plus 3 gives us 13. That means we add 3 to x in order to find y. So this is what the equation would look like. y equals x plus 3 for this set of data or values. Um, and here's a big hint. Start every equation with y equals. So y equals x plus 3 in this case. All right, you should be able to find the notes. You can either pause this or find the PDF in the Google Classroom.